Hello. Oh, just make myself comfortable. Right. It's a beautiful sunny day and it's the weekend. So this means there's another Lavinia Stamps video tutorial for you from me to you, both on Facebook and then it will also be on YouTube. And today I'm going to feature one of the new release stamps called Blackberry. Absolutely beautiful stamp, along with um, a Lavinia Stamps uh, stencil. I had to think for a moment. <laughs> um, okay, and the stencil is pods. Right, let's get cracking then because today is the first day of the next Formula One season and it's qualifying so I'm sort of getting all my chores done and well mind you this isn't a chore this is a total delight to be here with you <laughs> but I want to get on so I can see the racing <laughs> let's go now I have a piece of Lavinia Stamps Multifarious cardstock in white and this is a 14 centimeters by 14 centimeters square topper and a piece of copy paper and then I'm using Distress Inks, Peacock Feathers, Squeeze Lemonade and Picked Raspberry. Now these are a favourite of mine. I think that you've gathered that already mainly because they're primary colours so you get lots of different shades uh, as they blend together and I just adore using these. I'm using makeup brushes as well so I've got those here and the first thing to do is to pop the stencil on. So I'm going to pop it on and I want a fairly, I'm going to pop it on so that the top of it is on at the bottom of my card because the images there are closer together so I'll get more of them, there's not so many spaces. I think that's what I did on the original card. Right, let's see how we go, but I want to avoid that line there at the top. So starting off, I'm not going to bother to tape it down because it's, it's just seconds, honest. So Picked Raspberry is my first colour. It's quite overpowering, so be careful. And just going to do a little, um, be gentle on the head of your brush. I'm not pushing it into the card, there's no pressure at all. It's just skimming lightly across the surface. Keeping it in place, now moving on to Squeeze Lemonade. And again, just checking. Now this is quite a dry pad, so uh, probably could do with some more pressure with this. I'm not going to um, the top or either side of the card just concentrating on the bottom area for the colour. But I want a lot of white space uh, along the top and also uh, on the sides. Right, so a bit more here. Now I'm into peacock feathers. Put some more in there, I want some, try and get some purple tones if I can because that came out so well on the original card. I've got orangey, so let's go in again with Squeeze Lemonade. Put a bit more on, I think. This pad is very dry. And then a bit more of the pink to finish things off, especially in the blue areas, and that should give me the mauve purple tones, which is it? Mm. Yeah, I suppose it is a bit. Not as much as I would like though. So I'm going to put some more blue on in here where the pink is to try and get that more purple tones. Let's have a look and see what that's like. Oh, it's still nice. Not the same lightness that I had in the original. Look, it's not the same. But it's still nice, so I'm going to go with that. Right, clear the decks, that's done. Uh, 
Um, now I need my stamp pad because I'm going to do a bit of stamping. So I'm going to use this one and I'm turning the card on its side because this is the way the um, image is going to be. And using this fabulous Blackberry is a gorgeous stamp and I think that I stamped it in black didn't I yes I did so starting off with first fine onyx black move that down a bit so I'm not sure if you were seeing me properly onyx black from verse fine you can use Claire verse fine Claire nocturne same ink really You can see this stamp is well loved. <laughs> Fabulous design. Right, just taking a bit of cloth, dry cloth to take the ink off from this side. Now just lightly tapping again. I want to make sure it will all come out. And then I'm going across the card right up to the edge of the um, stenciled image, right up to the top of the stenciled image, like so. Okay, pressing down, holding in. See how we go. Lovely jubbly. Now I'm going to stencil it, sorry, stencil it, ink up again. Ooh, making a right mess of that. Come round with that, take all that off. I re-inked this pad last night, so it's um it's being a bit generous with spreading it all about. <laughs> So now I'm going to pop another part of the stamped image down at an angle across and I'll need to swing it around now for the next bit and then another very gentle now gently tapping so that I can do a third first generation in each one of these ladies and gents so this is the third one and I'm going out at an angle again and that's it okay turn that over so now I have to say I prefer the colors of the original one the lighter one <laughs> this one's nice, but it's not throwing the blackberry out to me uh, because the uh, the ink behind is too dark. So do I start it again and miss Lewis? Mm, no. <laughs> um, right. Sorry. <laughs> you have to be honest, though, don't you? I'm Aries, mate. It was my birthday yesterday. I say it as it is always. <laughs> Oh, right, okay. Uh, right, yellow now. Let's get a bit serious. Um, polychromous pencils, right? Starting off with the uh, yellowy ones. So I'm just going to pop these leaves out, really. I'm not very good at colouring. I think you've gathered that already, but, um, you know, these images are so great. And the pencils are fantastic. It sort of does the work for you, doesn't it? So each leaf, just colouring off in the yellow or lemon, whatever it is. What is it? It's a Faber-Castell, that's what it is. Oh, it's chrome yellow. There we are. Right. I had a super day yesterday, I really did. Even though it was my second lockdown birthday it was um it was a super day loads of chatting with my with my uh, kiddies and you know grandchildren and children and friends 
Oh, and did laugh. Had such fun. That was on a FaceTime. I had a, a telephone call from my dear friends in Texas. That was great as well. Yeah, a oh, lucky girl yesterday. And it sort of still the good uh, of the day, the warmth of the day is still spilling over, isn't that? That's nice, I think. Right, so a bit of orange now, back to the card, sorry. Back to the card, a bit of orange. And uh, again, you see, look, I'm just sort of scribbling over. I'm not, um, I'm not being careful. Just giving it a few autumn tones. This is what I, I like pencils. I think I've told you before. I like pencils because if you make a mistake or if you just go too far, and it it looks rubbish, you can just rub it out. <laughs> right. So now I've got a, a, a red. Now this is dark red and I love this. I'm just going up the centre stem of the leaf just to give it a little bit more colour and depth and shadow. I don't think I've missed any. I missed one on the original card that I did and a lady very kindly uh, tipped me off about it you know and said oh you've missed one Eileen so I quickly got the pencils out and sorted that out so I was really grateful there now the final thing I'm going to do is to just bring in just coming over with yellow again I want them to pop a bit more it's sort of got really autumny tones which is which is when blackberries are out anyway aren't they so spot on there Eileen then it's accurate <laughs> Yeah, shame about that. Shame about those colours in the background. But even so, they might be autumnal tones as well. So have I got to do any more to it? Let's have a look. Oh, I was supposed to stamp dreams on this as well. So I need to find that. Right. Stand by your desks. I won't be long. Okay, I'm back. Oh, right, this is, um, put this microphone back on, sorry. Right, this is my little container for some of my stamps that I use, and I'm looking for dreams. There it is. Now this is rather a large, this is too large actually, this um, acrylic block, but I'm going to risk it. Don't do what I do here, because this is far too big for this stamp, and you won't get proper pressure. So if I make a mistake, I've got to do all this video again, because I don't show you that I knew what I was doing, something wrong, and I still went ahead and did it. Okay, so I'm going to do dreams and it's going to go here. Press gently and up. Oh, look, got away with that. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm, I'm a bit... Uh, a bit naughty today. Right, the other thing I do need to do, I've just noticed, is... The hands were not as clean as they should have been and I've got a slight amount of ink here which I know you cannot see but I can. So that's that's going. And um, I'm done. 
So what I did then is that I used multifarious cardstock for the top of the card and also for the base. And the base is, is a piece, an A4 sheet folded and then cut into 14 and a half centimeters to take the topper of 14 centimeters. And um, do you know, I'm liking this more and more now. Oh, that, that's a bonus. Hmm, right, where's my display board? <laughs> display board, it's a bit of A3 card. <laughs> Oh, right. Don't want that. Okay, my original card. Lovely colours, I think you'll agree. Beautiful. Different colours, but I still like this. I'm still liking this. Yeah. Easy as well, isn't it? So, uh, if I, I haven't layered that on anything. I've just used glue and stuck the toppers down onto the card so that's all and now I'm going to uh, say bye bye pop off and watch practice three of the Formula One and then the qualifying this afternoon and then the race tomorrow but I will be back to do another card in the morning for you have a lovely weekend thank you for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow bye for now <laughs>